message. Who will you probably not stay in touch with? <laughs> Hi, we're Belle and Anton. Hi, I'm Chris. And we're playing text on the beach with Cosmopolitan. Got a text! That's literally how loud I did it in the villa. People hated it. Please describe your time in the villa in five words. Eventful. Fun. Swilling. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because I spilled myself. Sorry, toast. Best summer of my life. Boom. What was a Love Island highlight for you? If you don't say meeting me, I, I was... swear. <laughs> it was, yeah, 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 I Kate agree. Did, you? Yeah, I agree. But meeting you was, was... A close second? Close second. I'll take close that. Close second. I'll take that, you did quite What was yours? Um, I think maybe when the parents came in. Yeah, it was good. I loved the challenges. The challenges were my favourite bit. And what was the worst? Our argument, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, that was probably not great. No, it? no, wasn't no, good. Wasn't great. Yeah. Absolutely not. No, we've seen bits of it though. We've seen bits of it. What, like the tiniest bit? Yeah. I said come. I, yeah, I I, do you know what? I just stay true to myself. I am a bit of a hothead, so yeah. I just, that is. It was the best thing that I happened to us, though. Yeah, it definitely made right, us a lot closer, stronger. Closer together, yeah. yeah. Low light of mine. Do you know what it was? It was when I when I made the sorry toast and I went in for a hug with Harley and got absolutely denied. That actually compound fractured my ego for about an hour and, and 20 minutes. And then I got over it, but uh, only because we made up. Who was the best person to live with? Maura, 100%. Like, Maura is the most entertaining person ever. She's very whingy, but in like the best humanly possible way. She is actually hilarious with everything that comes out of her mouth. So, Maura, we were like best mates in there. Michael? Yeah. Because he was clean as well. He was clean, he cooked, yeah. he was funny. He's good to look at. I can say that. Yeah, you, you could say that. that. Yeah, you good to train with. Yeah, and he was always there. He had good advice. Good advice. Yeah, Michael. Should have took his own advice, so shouldn't he have? He should have. Who was the worst person to live with? Did anybody have any annoying habits? Tommy. It was really? so. It was so messy. Yeah, we didn't see a lot of that though, because we was upstairs. Oh, you were upstairs. Yeah. Oh, so messy. So messy. Do you know what the most annoying habit? I think is more is snoring. Oh yeah. I d I've I wasn't even a anyone, snore. It was like I've never heard anyone snore like that before. It was like a life. wave. It yeah. Was a wave. Yeah, it was like a. I don't know. She used to like growl like a chihuahua. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Message. Who else might you have coupled up with? Ah, oh, that's an awkward question, isn't it? Um, oh, I don't know. That's really hard. Um, if Ovi didn't exist, which he does, probably India. To be fair. But he does, and I was Ovid, so that's not a thing. Harley's not going to be very happy about that. Who will you definitely stay in touch with since your time in the villa? Michael. Yeah, Michael. Danny. Amber. Amber. Yeah. Um, Joanna. Joanna. Jordan. Jordan. Jo probably, uh, probably most people actually. Pretty much most there. of them, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we got on with literally pretty much everyone, didn't we? Yeah. Maura and Curtis, 100%. Um, Jordan, Michael. Good friends with Joe now, actually. Obviously, he weren't in the villa at the same time. Next question. Who will you probably not stay in touch with? <laughs> no comment. Yeah, no comment. Have you had any strange fan interaction since leaving the villa? Mines was the breath spray. A fan yeah. came up to me and gave me a breath spray, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I've not. I've just sort of had like for pictures and things. I've not had anything weird yet. Do you know what someone else done? They gave me a baby, and I thought, did you see me in that baby challenge? <laughs> they actually gave me their baby to hold, and I was like, are you joking? What do you think made you a great bombshell? I think. I mean, if that's what we're calling me, a great bombshell, fine. I think the main thing was just being different, really. Like, I'm not a typical islander, but I embraced it when I was in there and had a good laugh of it. And finally, what does the future hold for Banton? Yeah, you just love that, don't I love you? that. <laughs> I love that. Um, I think that we're just going to continue to date each other. Yeah. Um, it's going really well so far. So yeah, just yeah. continuing to date on the outside, and then we'll see where that goes. Nah, definitely not. I don't. I don't really don't like, like that. I don't like London at all. I'm just going to keep my base in Scotland and travel up and down. Quite yeah. happy. Yeah, I'd, I can move anywhere really. I mean, I'd have to. I've never been to Scotland, so we'd have to. Plan that first. Yeah, you'll to come up, definitely. Yeah. We'll take it from there. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please let us know your thoughts below.